I'm the editor of The Runner, and here's what you can expect from our issue coming out on January 22nd. After four years of planning and construction, KPU has finally opened the new campus at Civic Plaza close to Surrey Central. The campus will predominantly have courses and programs offered by the School of Business, including post-baccalaureate and graduate diploma programs. The campus contains 11 classrooms, bookable meeting rooms, and open study areas which offer students some nice views of the surrounding area. Check out my article for a tour of the new campus, plus some details about the programs, and some background info about its construction. Five of us on the runner team went to NASH, an annual student journalism conference in January, to attend panels and workshops that would help us do our jobs better. Some of the speakers there were Suzanne Craig, who broke the Trump tax fraud story for the New York Times, and Connie Walker, creator of CBC podcast Missing and Murdered. Our flights and admission were paid for by PIPS, the society that funds the creation of the runner and Pulp magazine. We couldn't have afforded to go without our budget, which comes from the student fees that you pay to PIPS. Because of that, we think you deserve to know how we're spending our money, including on events like NASH. You can read more about this in my editorial coming out in the next issue. KPU's Let's Be Compassionate Club is getting ready to host its first conference on January 31st. CompassionCon will be free to attend and will feature a roster of guest speakers, including Emily Pickett from the Vancouver Humane Society, and Jeff Regeer, a former undercover investigator and animal rights activist. The conference will also feature Mandy Gill, a Reebok-sponsored professional athlete who will inform students on how she stays fit on a plant-based diet. If you're interested in veganism, animal rights, or just vegetables in general, you should go check it out. To read these stories and more like them, you can check out the issue on stands on January 22nd or visit our website at runnermag.ca.